super unpredictable situation. Unpredictable, and for one man, it became fatal. It is being called a freak accident. A man in Summit County crushed by hundreds of pounds of falling ice. This new specialist, Nicole Val, warns tonight the threat of rooftop avalanches is very real, especially right now in mountain communities. Yeah, well, take a look at this, you guys. All of this ice and snow just cascading off of this roof. As the temperatures rise and the snow begins to fall, this can become lethal. And officials warn after a fatality here in Park City this weekend, they're urging caution. So we're just walking the dogs, you know, a nice evening stroll yeah. here in Park City. But even Ian Dornfeld knows a simple stroll can be scary this time of year. You definitely want to stay away from them because you never know when they're going to go. Rooftops covered feet high with heavy snow and ice that can turn an average walk into a terrifying situation. You know, you've got to stay away from it. Anything can happen. It's scary out there. 50 year old John Henry, a window washer, experienced those rooftop risks first hand. Henry was cleaning those two windows on this red house here when officials say a 700 pound piece of ice fell on top of him, pinning him all the way down there to the ground. Henry was trapped under the ice for about 45 minutes and it took a sledgehammer for first responders to set him free. Roof avalanches aren't an urban myth. Greg right? Gordon with what the Utah Avalanche mean? Center warns these potentially lethal blocks of ice are not some winter fable. Our advice to anybody living in a mountain community is you definitely don't want to be playing underneath that type of setup. Super unpredictable situation. Unpredictable and in Henry's case, fatal. Right now we're going through a thaw and refreeze thing, so stay away. Officials say Henry suffered major head trauma after that large chunk of ice fell on top of him. He died Saturday in the hospital. In Park City tonight, Nicole Vowell, KSL 5 News.